it occurred to me that I've, I had stories attached to these songs, but probably members of the audience would, would have stories too. You know, we all live our life against a, a tapestry of music in a way. And so um, I thought of doing a, a, an intimate concert in small theatres where we could exchange these stories and play through these songs. Um, and so that's what it is, really. I, you know, I once saw a man called Peter Ustinov do a one-man show. And it was so intriguing. I mean, he was so good. Ever since I saw him, I've been fascinated with the idea of trying to achieve the same result. And, uh, and uh, so, you know, that was the idea, really, to make a show out of this material that was really entertaining. Just before, I, I've just finished the tour of uh, the United States and Canada, and just before I left to go on the tour, I, uh, I sat down on my sofa and I thought, you know, oh God, what have I done? But, um, you know, because there's only you up there. And, you know, if it goes wrong, there's no one else to look to, it's you, you know. But it was fantastic and it's been a, a really wonderful experience. I, um, I really have learned a lot, strangely enough. Um, I, the, and the main thing I've learned is about the power of sharing. You know, music goes from soul to soul. And it's this link that is really uh, important. And you see it manifested in a show like this. You see where songs have actually touched people's lives. Well, to be honest, I don't like the term progressive or prog rock. It sounds a bit sort of pseudo-intellectual. Um, but really, all prog rock is, is music that has a European rather than an American uh, influence. It draws upon European music. And, um, uh, I, you know, one could argue that Sgt. Pepper was the first uh, album that really drew on a lot of European influences. Um, but Call of the Crimson King was an extreme example of it. Uh, and ELP too uh, used almost exclusively a lot of European music, certainly to start with. It's, um, it's a strange thing, you know, because it, it's sort of snatching something and using it out of context. But what, what I was pleased with is the relevance of 21st century Schizoid Man today. You know, it still sounds current. It still sounds relevant. And uh, that, that's very gratifying after all these years. I mean, the record is what? I don't know, 40, 50, I mean, but very old. Old like me. But, it, but it, it's lovely to hear a really contemporary artist doing it.